Hey there guys, it's Mr. Gear from the Neighborhood Katari, also known as Mokujin21, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Small HD Focus Monitor Canon Kit. Let's see what's inside the box. <coughs> <coughs> So the reason you'd be interested in this is because it's a great portable touchscreen monitor with very good color reproduction that can also swivel to easily face you or your subject. It's also great for people who don't want to spend crazy amounts of money and need a monitor when they're doing unboxings, like these. On the left hand side of the box it says Focus Canon LPE6 bundle, they come in a variety of bundles from b and and other sources by the way. We've got a 5 inch screen, daylight viewable, which is important of course, micro HDMI and power out so you can charge your camera using the monitor's battery. Opening this up we can see we've got two other boxes. I like this. You have chosen wisely. Chosen wisely my son. That's, that's confidence right there. <laughs> Here we can see the screen looking at you. And they've got something that I didn't expect. They give you, not this, this isn't special, but this, a glass screen protector. It's these small little touches that go a long way with me. I love it. So let me put this to the side and let's check out the rest of the accessories and then let's try out the screen. Oh, real quick, I decided that I wanted to put the glass on. Watching this is like peeling off plastic, except the opposite. And just like that, we've got all of this. Here's a battery, it takes Sony style NPF series, it's charger, we've also got these little plastic clips which are very important to hold the wires, cable management. We also have these adapters which include a male to female HDMI adapter, micro HDMI to mini HDMI and much more. We also have this hot shoe mount which you can put on the bracket to hold your mic. We also have this so you can power the camera off the screen. And they also give you this. You put this right on your camera, your monitor right over here, and you can swivel your heart out. All right, so I've got my Canon 80D on the right-hand side. I've plugged it in and turned it on. The first time you do this, it's going to want you to go through a setup. So let's go ahead and enter the date. As you can see, the touch works, but sometimes I have to touch a little bit stronger than I usually do on a touchscreen. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've activated it. You can now see the image from the camera. It's got a slight bit of lag, but it's not meant to be something you solely rely on, right? It's meant to help you with focus and things like framing. It's also going to give you a closer representation of what the final image will look like. One of the issues that I face is that when I'm taking a video and I'm using the viewfinder on my camera, it'll look perfect, but after copying it to the PC, it's either too dark or too bright. Another cool feature is that I can go ahead and add shortcuts on the left-hand side. I've got peaking enabled, but let's go ahead and choose something like, um, what should we choose? Let's go with Zebra. Now all I need to do is tap on the icon to switch it on or off. That's pretty cool to have, you know, convenient buttons. And of course, the main point is that you can customize this as you see fit. So you can have all the important options at a touch of a button. Let's take a look at some of the options we have available to set. We've got Exposure Assist, Zebra, Color Picker, Aspect, Safe, Crosshair, Crosshatch. We've also got Histogram, Waveform, Vector Scope, Focus Assist and Peaking, Look, Image Overlay, Capture and Meters, Crop and Scale, Size and Position. Now here it is a bit closer. You can see the resolution of the screen a bit better. It's 1280 by 720 with an aspect ratio of 16 by 9, a bit depth of 10 bits too. It also has 800 nits in terms of brightness and that's why Small HD advertises this as a great device with daylight visibility. Check it out. It's a bright day and to be honest, I could see using this monitor just fine and I'd probably recommend getting a light shield for super bright days though. Also, the glass screen protector, while nice, is highly reflective, so think carefully before applying it. You might not want to do that. While we're looking at the screen, here's something I didn't figure out until later. If you pinch out, or pinch in, no, that's in, right? Yeah, that's in. You can get all these extra settings. I won't go through all of them since I still need to play with this even more, but you can adjust quite a lot.
Looking at the overall body again, you can see that this is quite slim. And to be honest, I like the way it's minimalist. You can also see that you can put your SD card, which is great for backup recording, and headphones. And then we've also got the HDMI, power, and USB ports over here. Watch out though, because it's got this oil-loving rubberized coating, which is grippy. Another thing is that this screen can auto-rotate. Of course, it's important, especially when you twist this around. So, do I recommend it? Well, I've been using another unit for a few days and I really like it. Just make sure that if you're getting the Canon kit, that you make sure whether your camera needs a micro or mini USB cable. My Canon Kiss, for example, uses uh, the mini USB cable. That's the white one, by the way. And now I need to buy an adapter because it came with a micro USB. But it's not a big deal. I can find it anywhere. So that's pretty much it. If you've got a question, ask me below and I'll do my best to answer them. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up because thumbs are free, but they mean a lot to me. Take care.